everybody's well. Well, it's been some time since I've made a video, but I think the new feature update from the Fly-By-Wire team really does warrant a video just to show you what's new and how it all works. Today, I really want to introduce to you the Mukdu, or the multifunctional display unit, working on an external source. This can be on an iPhone, an iPad, any form of tablet, or web browser on the same computer as well. So let me show you how you get all that working. So the first thing we need to do is go to our community folder. We need to find our fly-by-wire aircraft A320neo folder. Mine is located here. I'm going to open that. And the next thing we're going to look for is Mercado server. I'm going to open that. Now, some say you need to run this file which is actually a PowerShell document as administrator but I'm going to be totally honest I haven't and it works fine so what I'm going to do now is double click this first thing it's going to ask me is do I want to print I'm going to select yes on this occasion shows you what happens then we're going to hit Y enter I'm going to choose my printer which is number five enter it's now telling me to start um, start on the server and it's waiting for the simulator and it's now ready to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is copy the link here and I'm going to load either if I've got an iPad that's brilliant but if not I'm just going to load my web browser I'm going to paste the link and lo and behold there is my Mac 2 as simple as that. So what I'm going to do for now is just to minimize a few things here and let me just go in and zoom in on here. I'm also now going to bring up my Mercado on my browser source. Now as I say I can do this on my iPad, I can do this on my phone, I'm doing this on an external browser for now. Click on Atsu and I'm going to click on um, AOC menu and I'm going to wait and balance and request my wait. I'm going to start. You'll notice this is perfectly timed. Fly by Y team, as always, you are amazing. It's as simple as that. Um, just to help you out as well, if you do get a black screen on here with no information whatsoever, that just means that your firewall is blocking the IP address or the port. The IP address is local to your server and the port is after the colon 8125. For me, I had to open my firewall program, which was McPhee. I had to add a new port of 8125. Guess what? It worked first time every time. So there we go. Hopefully that video, a short and sweet, will help. And uh, I'll see you on the next stream. Take care. Goodbye.